Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and this is the next video of my series where I teach you guys React Jazz from the beginning and continuing from my last video where I taught you guys how to work with styled components, I'm going to be making kind of like a part two where I'm teaching you guys how to pass props down to whatever styled component you have and you can make changes to your component directly from the props from the properties inside of your like when you call the component. So Basically, we have here on our screen a button, which is red, and you can hover on it. It's it's really simple. It says subscribe. And I created it on the component right here called button. However, differently from what I showed you guys on the last video, I don't want to create a different um, constant for button, depending on which color or which size I want. I want to make it, I want to change it directly from the properties when I call it in my app component or whatever you call it. So how you do this is by basically coming here, going to your button and writing, giving it a name, for example, I want to call it color and you set it equal to something. I want to set it equal to mm, the color blue, for example. Then I come here to my buttons and I can directly from here call the prop. So the background color for now is, is crimson. So I want to change it. And how I change it is by basically using the ES6 syntax and writing a dollar sign and the curly braces. And inside of here, I can write whatever I want. So in order to get the props, you write props and an equal, like an arrow. And over here, you ask for the prop you want. So props dot color. And you can see that now the button is blue, but hey, like you can see that whenever I hover on it, it's still getting red. So I can do the same thing for here and I'll create another prop called dark color and I can come to my app.js and I can set the dark color equal to something, right? So I want to set it equal to dark blue. So if I come here, now everything is working as you can see. And this is very, very simple. You can also use, for example, um, like booleans. So I can create a, a prop called um, large. And if the button is large, let's change the, the width, right? So um, I can put the dollar signs, the curly braces and call for props, then put the arrow function. And over here, I can simply ask props dot large. Right, so if it's large, I want to make the width equal to um, like 500 pixels. And uh, if not, I just want to make it equal to whatever I had before, which I think was 200 pixels, right? And if you see, now it's large because I called on my app.js, I called it large. If I remove this, it will set equal to the else part of our ternary operator which says it has to be 200 pixels. And this is a very simple thing. It gets quite confusing because honestly, I, in my opinion, the document, like the documentation for the styled components isn't that good. So I wanted to make this video to make this clear. And you guys can see how powerful this is because you can simply add JavaScript inside of your CSS and it makes things very organized and easy. Also, this is something that I just wanted to throw in there. You can also add it like add a hover to your element. If you simply add a, an, like a end operator and the hover, it basically calls for the action inside of the element that you're creating up here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a really quick one because it's a part two for the, pre the previous video I made. So yeah, I hope you guys learned from it and I see you guys next time.